parang mag-bend ka talaga. Tapos, isi-check <laughs> yung pwet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Isi-check yung pwet. So, para ako naman, parang, oh my goodness, parang napaka-awkward naman. just ko. This is Jolly and I'm back again for another episode of K1 Visa Series. So, sa video na ito guys, ikukwento ko sa inyo kung ano yung personal experience ko during my medical exam at St. Luke's Extension Clinic. So, medical exam is one of the requirements before your K1 Visa interview. So, you have to get it done first before you show up in the U.S. Embassy for your interview. Kaya, sa video na ito guys, ulit-ulit tayo no, ikukwento ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga isi-share ko, kung ano yung mga dinala ko, Para naman alam nyo at alam nyo what to expect during your medical exam. So, ayan na guys, simulan na natin ang kwentuhan. Alright, so magsimula tayo dun sa pagdating ko sa labas ng extension clinic. So, dumating ako sa labas ng St. Luke's guys around 5am. So, business hours ng St. Luke's, nag-open sila around 6am. So, dumating ako one hour before they open. And during that hour, um, siguro may mga 15 na tao pa lang yung nakapila guys. So, um, I just followed the line. So, may mga, may dalawa or tatlong linya ata doon, guys. So, you have to make sure na doon ka pumila sa initial, initial medical exam. Huwag kang pumila sa ibang linya. Pumila ka kung saan may nakalagay initial medical exam. Kasi doon yung tamang linya. So, ako guys, pumila na ako. So, you know, I have with me my requirements then. So, nung pumila na ako, guys, nung nakapila na ako, around 5.30, si Manong Guard, they started calling na, na parang reminders na, Oy, kayo, mga applicants, um, prepare your requirements na kasi magsisimula, ta magsisimula na tayong magbukas. So, around 5.30, ganun. So, kami, ng mga nakapila, so, we have our requirements, so, ayun na, prepare na kami. So, by the time na ako na, nung nakapila na ako kay Manong Guard, tapos face-to-face -to -face ko na si Manong Guard, so, uh, hinanapan niya ako with the following requirements. So, ito yung hinanap niya sa akin, guys. First would be valid passport. Second would be one photocopy of my passport. So, yung photocopy, guys, just just original size. Huwag niyong i-enlarge, huwag niyong paliitin. Kung ano yung original, yun lang. Huwag niyong, huwag niyong gagalawin pa. And then, sec, uh, third would be one copy of NVC letter with Manila case number. So, ito namang NVC letter, guys. Um, you have to ask this from your petitioner. So, sabihin nyo kay petitioner nyo, sa fiancé nyo, to email this copy sa inyo, tapos i-print out nyo lang. And then, fourth would be four pieces of 2x2 two two photo. So, eto namang 2x2 two two guys, they are very strict with the the size. So, you have to make sure that you have it right. So, kung before your medical exam, you go to photo studio, i-print nyo guys yung photo template. I will include it sa uh, description ng video na ito. I-print nyo yung photo template, tapos i-present nyo sa photographer sa photo studio. Tapos, sabihin mo sa kanila na this is the exact size na kailangan ko for my medical exam uh, for US visa. So, alam nila yun guys. So, just present it para sigurado. And also, bawal yung eyeglasses within your 2x2 photo. So, so, yun lang guys. So, just print out the template, tsaka i-present nyo sa photographer. Alam na yun ng photographer. And then, fifth would be one copy of online registration form. So, include ko yung link ng official website ng St. Luke's guys para makapagbasa kayo, may idea kayo, at para ma-fill up nyo yung form ahead of time, tsaka ma-print out nyo. So, yun yung mga uh, requirements na tinanong sa akin ni Manong Guard. So, there are five of them. Again, valid passport, one photocopy of my passport, one copy of NVC letter with Manila case number, four pieces 2x2 two two photo, and one copy of online registration form. St. Luke's website. So, ayun na guys. So, nung, nung pinasa ko na kay Manong Gar, pinakita ko sa kanya, and he, um, he think it's, co it's complete. So, binalik niya sa akin. And then, he gave me a number at saka yung PDS form or yung patient data sheet form. So, yung number ko, guys, I think it was color red. So, bibigyan ka niya ng color red if you are alone. And then, bibigyan ka naman niya ng green if you are family or with a child. So, ako naman that time alone ako. So, I have red. Color red yung patient number na meron ako. And then, ayun na, nakapasok na ako sa loob ng building. So, sa loob, excuse me, guys. <laughs> so, nakapasok na ako sa loob ng building. So, parang nag-wait lang ako around 15 to 20 minutes. And then, they start calling na the, uh, the queue numbers. So, hindi ko na maalala, guys, kung ano yung number ko. But when I, my number has been called, um, 
puma uh, lumapit lang ako sa window and then <clears throat> excuse me guys yung first na um, process would be data entry so yung paglapit ko sa window pinresent ko lang yung requirements ko and then um, data entry so tatanungin niya lang guys kung ano yung pangalan mo ano yung birthday mo ano yung civil status mo and then after that is picture taking so parang kukuhanan ka ng picture and then after picture taking would be biometrics so i think four fingerprints so parang ganon pero so ayun data entry picture taking at saka uh, fingerprints so ayun na guys so natapos na ako and then the person in charge will actually talagang may actually pa no the person in charge will um instruct you kung ano yung next so after nun guys sinabihan niya ako na oh you have to pers uh, proceed to the fifth floor for your payment so after ko uh, after ko don sa first stage which is data entry uh, na proceed na ako sa fifth floor guys so when i proceed sa fifth floor um fresh pa wala pang wala pang masyadong Alam mo yun, wala pang masyadong nagmamadali kasi early ako that time. Wala pang masyadong parang maraming taong naglalakad sa building. Wala pang ganun guys. So, yun lang, um, fifth floor, pumunta ako doon, doon na nagbayad ako. So, sa payment naman guys, um, they're not accepting debit or credit card, they're only accepting cash. So, for adult or for 15 years old and up, and up, um, they you will have to pay 17,025 pesos. So again, that's 17,025 pesos, inclusive of the vaccines, na guys. Tapos, kung if you are with a child, um, 14 years old and, and below, uh, the payment would be 9,583. Again, that's 9,583. So, nung puma uh, after kung nagpay sa fifth floor, guys, um, the cashier told me to proceed to the fourth floor. So, sa floor, fourth floor, the first uh, test would be the blood and urine test. So, when I proceed na ako sa fourth floor, um, merong person in charge to own. So, I just presented my um, alam, yung requirements ko and then yung checklist na binigay sa akin from the data entry. My, my checklist na binigay sa akin. So, I hand it to the person in charge. So, parang nag-wait lang ako, guys. And then, when it's my turn, um, oh, hinanapan din pala ako ng valid passport, guys. Ayun, hinanapan ako ng valid passport. And then, when it's my turn, um, parang, parang nagchikahan lang kami ng nurse. Tapos, parang, kasi yun yung way nila, guys, to calm you down in case na, um, takot ka sa karayo, or in, in case takot ka sa blood. So, ayun. So, I think it's on my left arm. Hindi ko ma-remember, ma ma guys, kung left or right arm. Pero, ayun, um, left arm ata yun. Hindi ko, hindi ko talaga ma-remember, guys. Pero, eh, parang magkukwentuhan lang sila sa'yo. Tapos, parang napaka, hindi ko alam yung term. Pero, mellow, napaka mellow ng nurse. So, habang nag-uusap sa sa'yo, so, kukuhanan kanya ng blood. So, it's up to you naman kung manood ka, no? Kung papanoorin mo yung yung karayong, tsaka yung dugo mo, or, you know, just, just keep on chatting with her. So, parang ganun lang. So, depende yun sa inyo, guys. Pero, madali lang naman yung blood test. So, after nung blood test, um, hmm, okay, so, after, <laughs> may copy ako dito, guys, eh. After ng blood test is, ipop, the same floor pa din, you will proceed to another room for urine test. So, the same sa urine test, may person in charge to on. And then, sasabihin, um, you will have to present your, uh, ano ba yun? You will have to present your checklist. Your checklist and then your requirement. Tapos, yung nurse to on, tatanungin ka lang niya when is the last um, day of your period. Tapos, kung nakaihi ka na ba? Kasi, I think, guys, um, after mo kasing kukuha na, na ng dugo, I think that you have to wait one hour ba? They have to wait one hour pag nakaihi ka na or not before they can do the urine test. So, parang may ganung rule. Hindi ko al alam kung anong exact na rule. Pero tatanungin ka lang nila, guys, kung nakaihi ka na ba or not. Oh, by the way, guys, kasi I highly suggest na kapag you are the type of person na mahirap makaihi during the urine test, what you do is, Uminom kayo ng maraming tubig, guys, before you leave your house. Nang sa ganun, by the time na na mag-urine test na, 
there is a possibility na makaihi talaga kayo. But don't worry naman, kasi sa loob ng building ng, med, uh, ng St. Luke's, they have drinking fountain na anytime pwede kang makainom. And also, they, you are allowed to bring bottle of water. Pero, food is not allowed inside the building, guys. So, that's another one. It's um, advisable na kumain kayo, guys, before you do the medical exam. Kasi, bawal ang food sa loob ng building ng St. Luke's. And, no need for fasting. They don't require anybody to do fasting. So, they actually encourage you to eat. Kasi, bawal ang pagkain sa loob ng building. So, ayun yun, guys. So, nung nasa urine test na ako, binigyan ako ni nurse ng container for urine sample. So, bibigyan ka lang niya ng instructions kung anong gagawin mo sa urine sample at kung gaano karami or kaliit yung kailangan niya. So, ayun lang. So, you have to reach that point kung saan kailangan mong umihi ng ganoon karami. Kasi pag kulang, kailangan mong bumalik, guys. And never ever add water. Kasi malalaman nila yan kung if you add water to it. So, relax lang. Tsaka make sure na umihi ka ng marami. Para sure. Ayun. So, nung natapos na ako, guys, for urine test, um, the nurse instructed me to proceed sa third floor na naman. So, from fourth floor, bumaba ako sa third floor. At this time naman, guys, x-ray na naman yung gagawin natin. So, sa x-ray, <clears throat> eto guys, uh, tip pag nag uh, pag nag medical exam kayo you have to make sure na wag kayong magsuot ng complicated na mga na complicated na damit so as much as possible just uh, wear parang regular t-shirt tsaka pants na madaling hubarin or even just a dress like a one size dress na madaling hubarin Wag, wag na kayo magdala ng mga belt, kung ano-ano accessories na meron sa damit nyo. Kasi kayo din na mahihirapan. Kasi parang two times kayo maghuhubad sa medical exam. So, it will be way easier for you and convenient kung um, you are dressed the right cloth, clothing. Para hindi kayo mahirapan. So, sa so third floor, guys, would be my x-ray. <clears throat> so, you just follow the line follow the line. Tapos, pag nag-follow the line ka na, um, you just wait kung turn mo na. So, kapag turn mo na, bibigay mo ulit yung checklist mo sa person in charge. And then, si nurse, um, bibigyan kanya ng yung instructions kung anong gagawin during the x-ray. So, <clears throat> if it's your turn, she will hand you a hospital gown. Tapos, pupunta ka sa isang mini dressing room para maghubad ng mga damit mo and to put, uh, put on your um, hospital gown. So, kapag nakabihis ka na, guys, kung may bag ka with you, you have to make sure, guys, na you bring your bag with you, tsaka yung mga personal belonging mo. Wag mong iwan kung saan-saan because maraming tao sa St. Luke's, guys, and you you just don't know. And if you're alone, wala kang, makapag, wala kang mapagkakatiwalaan. So, bring your bag with your personal belongings with you kapag nagbihis ka sa dressing room. So, pag nakabihis ka na, guys, babalik ka ulit kay nurse. And then, um, sasabihin ka niya kung saan ka mag-proceed. So, parang sa side lang kung saan yung linya for the x-ray. So, kung nasa x-ray ka na, doon sa person in charge for x-ray, so, sasabihin ka lang niya ng instructions kung ano yung tamang um, pag-brief para makuha niya yung right posture mo for x-ray. So, during the x-ray, hindi naman, hindi naman masyadong matagal, guys. Um, madali lang siya. Madali lang yung x-ray. And after that, bihis ka ulit for your regular clothing. So, nung natapos na ako nag-x-ray, um, the nurse instructed me to proceed to the second floor. So, ayun na guys, from fourth floor, blood urine test, I proceed sa third floor for x-ray. And then from third floor, bumaba ako second floor for, uh, ano bang meron sa second floor guys? Um, oh, sa so second floor is a medical consultation. So, dito guys, sa second floor, medyo mahaba-haba ang pila. Siguro yung pila guys is 2 to 3 hours. Ito yung, kasi yung, yung urine test, yung blood, yung x-ray, um, madali lang siya guys. So, sobrang bilis lang, parang maayos lang yung flow. Pero pagdating dito sa medical consultation sa second floor, mahi, uh, hindi, hindi mahirap. Mahaba yung pila guys, tsaka mahaba yung weight. Kasi nga, it's a one-on-one -on -one medical consultation with the doctor. So, ang gagawin dito, guys, of course, pipila ka lang, and then you have to wait until it's your turn na makausap yung doctor. So, yung doctor, pag nakausap ka niya, 
um, bibigay mo sa kanya yung checklist and then magbibigay siya sa iyo ng form na fill upan mo and then pag na fill up mo siya guys um pag na fill up mo siya yung form babalik mo sa kanya and then pag time na natatanungin kanya parang ano lang siya guys parang nagpa-check up ka lang sa isang clinic kapag may problem ka parang ganun so parang ganun lang siya it's a medical consultation one on one so yung doctor tatanungin niya kung ano yung mga health history mo kung may medications ka ba na ginagamit kung may history ka ba ng ng suicidal yung mga ganun or depression kung ano ba yung mga um mga bagay na related sa health mo. So, tatanungin nila yun, guys, lahat. Kaya medyo mahaba-haba ang pilan. Medyo matagal. Parang 2 to 3 hours yung wait. Kasi nga, isa-isa talaga, guys, yung doctor, parang i-examine niya kung may problem ka ba, if you're mentally um, capable or mentally able, yung mga ganun, guys. So, um, make sure niya kung meron kang contagious disease or not. Parang mga ganun. So, any questions na related sa health mo o background ng health mo, yun, tatanungin niya yun. So, mahaba-haba. So, after that, siguro guys, that time talaga yung sa akin, para mga 2 to 3 hours. Mahaba talaga siya guys. Saka, parang nakakagutom that time, nakakagutom. So, basibawa lang pagkain. Pero, kumain naman ako that time. Pero, pag, kasi yung long wait guys, nakakagutom. Saka, Tsaka, oh, one more tip, magdala kayo ng jacket, guys. Kasi during your wait sa St. Luke's, hindi ko alam, pero sobrang lamig sa building. Siguro yung AC nila sobrang lamig, and they run it that way. Kaya magdala kayo ng jacket, guys, kasi lamig, malamig talaga. So, para hindi naman kayo sipunin o buhin, you know, um, komportable kayo, magdala kayo ng jacket para sigurado. Or cardigan, para sigurado. So, ayun na, guys. Um natapos na ako. So, sabi ng doctor, I have to proceed to the US counter. So, nung nag-proceed na ako sa US counter, um, ano bang sunod? I have my list kasi, guys. Para hindi ko makalimutan kung ano yung mga dapat na details na banggitin ko dito sa video. So, I have my list with me to follow. So, um, Okay, so dito na sa, um, after nung na medical examination, guys, nung sa second floor, um, the doctor instructed me to proceed doon sa, parang sa side, na may sabing US counter. So sa US counter, they handed me a parang number, tsaka another form to fill up. Tapos, nag-wait na naman ako, guys. So napakaraming wait, no? So talagang masasanay kang maghintay. Ganun yun, guys. So, sa K-1 visa, iti-train ka talaga nilang masanay kang maghintay during the whole process of doing K-1 visa. So, ayun na guys, naghintay na ako. So, nung naghintay ako, um, they told me to enter into room 7. So, sa room 7 guys, pagdating ko doon, may another doctor again. So, linya na naman, may another doctor. So, when it's your turn, kakausapin ka ng doctor. Kasi, Kanina, guys, is medical consultation with a, doc with a doctor. This one naman is physical exam with another doctor. So, dito sa physical exam, guys, when it's your turn, um, yung doctor, hahanapan ka ng valid passport mo. Tapos, parang mayroon silang logbook kung saan magsasign ka. So, sign ka lang doon, yung name mo, whatever. And then, pag nag-sign ka na doon, um, parang may mga little questions na tatanungin si doctor sa'yo. So, um, ayun, my questions, and then, this time naman, guys, maghuhubad ka ulit, um, you would have to wear another hospital gown, kasi iti-check nila, iti-check niya, yung, um, abdomen mo, yung thigh mo, yung neck mo, yung back neck mo, tsaka yung shoulders mo, so parang, parang, the upper part, iti-check ni doctor, kasi, dun sa side niya, may parang little hospital bed. So, sasabihin ka niya na, oh, okay, lay down in the bed. So, pag lay down mo sa bed, parang mag, may iti-check lang siya sa upper part ng katawan mo habang nakahiga ka sa bed. So, may nakaka, nakakatawang kwento dito, guys. Kasi, kwento ko lang sa inyo, no? Chika lang ako ulit. Kasi, uh, saglit lang, guys. Kasi, um, may nabasa ako, guys, before kasi ako nag-medical exam, 
uh, nagbasa ako ng mga forums or reviews, may nabasa ako na parang may mga rumors ba, kunwari, na pag nag-medical exam ka daw, iti-check nila yung puwet mo, tsaka yung uh, private parts mo. So, ako naman guys, hindi naman sa, um, parang awkward kasi, for me, as soon as I've read that rumor, dun sa isang, isang, um, uh, forum, parang awkward, kasi nai-imagine ko na kung ako yung mag-medical exam, guys, awkward masyado na may ibang tao na makakakita, like, kung totoo talagang isi-check nila yung puwet mo, at saka yung private parts mo, kasi nga, di ba, you've never done it before, so, kung meron mang person na makakakita ng puwet mo, at saka private part mo, that would be the doctor first. Would be that person would be, the first person would be the doctor. So, parang ako talaga, guys, nung nabasa ko yung forum na yun, so, parang ako talaga, kinabahan ako, na natawa ako, na, na sinabi ko sa sarili ko, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god talaga, diba? Gosh, parang napaka-awkward naman talaga kapag nangyari ito. So, at that moment, habang I am doing my medical exam, bisin yung 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 details yung parang info na uh, running on my mind guys parang sabi ko oh my goodness parang eto na ba yung sabi nila iti check yung puwet mo yung private parts mo so kinakabahan ako guys na natatawa ako kasi nga kasi nga sabi nga daw nila iti check daw yung puwet pero wala namang ganun guys it's a rumor lang chismis lang kasi <clears throat> when i did it papahigain ka lang naman sa bed tapos, iti-check yung parang yung chest mo, yung back mo, tsaka yung, yun yung thigh mo. Ganun lang. Tapos, parang sideways lang. Pero, hindi naman iti-check ng doctor yung pet talaga. Kasi, meron doon, sabi talaga sa forum na ka, parang mag-bend ka talaga. Tapos, iti-check <laughs> yung pet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Iti-check yung pet. So, parang ako naman, parang, oh my goodness, parang napaka-awkward naman. just ko. So, one more tip naman, guys, no, para sigurado kayo, if you have a one-on-one -on -one physical exam with the doctor, maligo para siguradong fresh, tsaka, alam mo yun, malinis sa katawan, so, alam nyo na yun, guys, you, before you do the medical exam, siguraduhin nyo namang nakaligo kayo, or kung, kung hindi kayo nakaligo, at least, you know, malinis kayo, or mabango kayo, parang ganun. So, ayun na, guys. So, yung physical exam, siguro mga 15 minutes lang. So, parang ayun lang. Chinect lang yung dito, upper part ng katawan ko. And then, very mellow, tsaka nice naman yung doctor. Of course, kung female ka, female din yung doctor sa'yo. So, no need na kabahan or anything kasi they are expert in what they're doing. So, alam nila kung paano mag-approach sa each person kasi they do it almost every day. So, parang, so, walang, walang, walang awkward moment na mangyayari, guys, sa inyo during the medical exam. So, ayun na. So, nung natapos na ako sa medical exam, um, saan na tayo, guys? Sabi ni Doc, I will, I have to proceed to the fifth floor. So, nang nag-proceed na naman ako, so, so, diba, from fourth floor to, so, nag-start ako this, uh, that morning from the ground floor, going to fourth floor, third floor, second floor, and then from second floor, going back again to the fifth floor. So, sabi ni Doc, oh, punta ka sa fifth floor and then find the US counter. So, nung nagpunta ako sa fifth floor, guys, um, I found a person in charge. Tapos, I just handed my checklist again. Tapos, um, kinuha lang nila yung checklist ko, guys. And then, they told me, oh, you have to wait again until your name is called. So, ayun, waiting na naman, guys, until, um, until matawag yung pangalan mo. So, at that time, wala akong idea, pero siguro mga nasa around 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. na that time. So, nung nag-wait ako, wait, wait again. So, nang nag, <coughs> excuse me, guys. So, nung naghintay ako, guys, natawag na yung pangalan ko. Ito, natawag na yung pangalan ko, akala ko, next step na. Pero sabi nila, sabi ng person in charge, Oh, okay, miss. Ganito yung mangyayari. Tomorrow would be, you come back tomorrow for your immunization and your result. So, ganun pala yun, guys. So, after nun, so, yung first day kasi is hanggang physical exam lang. So, after ng physical exam, you come back the next day for your immunization at para makuha mo yung result in case normal yung findings sa lab test mo. So, Kasi guys, when you go to the building ng St. Luke's, meron silang flowchart. So, sa flowchart, 
include ko dito sa video ko guys kung ano yung flow chart. Sa flow chart nila, ipapakita nila yung the in overview ng entire process ng day 1 tsaka ng day 2. So may guide ka kung saan ka na kung kumare nasa fourth floor ka. Oh, okay, fourth floor ako. So eto pala yung nangyaya mangyayari sa akin uh, at the moment. Oh, second floor ako. Oh, eto pala yung nangyayari sa akin. So may idea ka guys kung ano yung ginagawa mo during your examination sa St. Luke's. So, ayun na. Kasi ako, guys, I checked the flow chart, pero wala akong idea na parang tapos na pala. Ganon. Kasi I just follow. Hindi kayo mahihirapan, guys, kasi if follow yung naman yung linya, tsaka yung tao, yung mga tao na nag-up and down, up and down, tsaka every time na pupunta ka sa isang floor, they will instruct you kung anong floor na naman yung yung kung saan ka magpo-proceed. So, hindi naman siya mahirap, hindi magulo. Kung naguguluhan ka man, ang daming tao na pwede mong tanungin. So, they are all, kumbaga, informed kung anong mga, alam nila kung, kung, kung ano yung gagawin mo next. So, nung natawag na ako, guys, sabi lang ng person, oh, you have to come back tomorrow for your immunization, tsaka para makuha yung result mo. So, ayun lang, guys. So, they will hand you para ka piece of paper kung ano yung schedule mo for the next day na mag-show up ka, tsaka yung test result mo. So, yung the next day naman, guys, eto na, yung sa next day, hindi na masyadong maaga. So, yung first day kasi, I show up 5 a.m. The next day, yung schedule ko, parang sinabi ata sa akin to show up like around 9 a.m. So, yung 9 a.m., show up ako doon. Um, hindi na ako naglinya, guys. I proceed to Manong Guard lang. Tapos sabi ni Guard, oh, okay. So, ito yung gagawin mo. You have to proceed to the second floor na for your immunization agad-agad. So, when I proceed to second floor, so may linya doon, guys, sa second floor. So, again, I handed my requirements, saka yung piece of paper na checklist doon kay sa person in charge, sa isang nurse. So, sabi lang ng nurse, oh, okay. Um, kakausapin ka lang niya, tatanungin ng mga questions like, like, saan ka pupunta sa state, sinong nag-petition sa'yo, yung mga ganun na question, guys, ano name mo, anong birthday mo, yung mga ganun lang na questions. And then, nung ikaw na, um, immunization na. Sa immunization, guys, is, ano lang, um, may specific vaccines kasi na required ang government ng US na kailangan mong uh, kunin, na kailangan magpa-vaccine ka before you arrive sa US, uh, sa, sa, sa US. So, yung vaccine na yun, nandoon yun sa listahan. So, alam yun ng nurse kung ano yung mga vaccine na, na para sa sa'yo. So, I think with me is anti-tetanus tsaka MMR. Parang ganun. So, parang dalawang vaccine yung turok sa akin, guys. So, yung immunization, hindi naman siya masyadong matagal, guys. Pero, expected talaga na after mong maturukan ng immunization, medyo masakit siya, guys. Hindi siya masakit kasi... Mm, parang mali yung pagkagawa ng nurse or pagkatusok. Hindi, masakit siya guys kasi parang yun yung effect ng, ng vaccine sa'yo. Parang um, during the entire day, even three days after nang nag, uh, nag kumuha ka ng vaccine, mararamdaman mo wala kang masyadong, kung saan kumari left arm, yung left arm mo sobrang napaka tender, na sensitive, na swollen, na talagang medyo masakit na makirot ganun. Pero it's normal guys, nothing to worry. So nung nakuha na ako ng immunization ko, tapos tapos na ako sa vaccine ko, sabi lang ng nurse, "Oh, okay, proceed to the ground floor for releasing of your results." So ayun na guys. So I have kung kunwari may question kayo if it's going in your mind na bakit hindi posible na one day lang lahat. Kasi, nung first day ko, half day lang yun, guys, umuwi na ako, I think by 11.30 or 12 noon, tapos na ako. And then, pinabalik nila ako the next day. The reason kung bakit two days talaga yung medical exam, guys, kasi nga, if you do the blood test, the urine test, tsaka yung x-ray, hindi mo agad makukuha yung result within 24 hours. They have to wait for the next day para makuha yung result kung, and to find out kung normal ba yung findings or not. So, you have to wish talaga, guys, talaga guys, na the next day, if you come back, kung, kung normal ba ang findings, kasi pag hindi normal, um, I think may, may delay sa process nyo, kasi meron kayong another na test na gagawin, kung hindi normal yung test, yung results ng test ninyo. So, pray na normal lahat yung result, para dire-diretso na kayo guys. Kasi pag hindi normal, Alam ko, hindi ko na-experience ito guys, but I've read in the reviews sa forums na may mga gagawin kayong um, specific na mga tests na it requires like, I think, three consecutive days na scheduling, parang ganun. 
just to um, get back to normal findings. So, ganun guys. So, pa, madedelay talaga yung process kapag hindi normal yung findings ng, ng test. So, ayun na guys. Um, sobrang dali lang ng second day. Siguro mga 1 hour or 2 hours lang ako doon guys. <clears throat> So, nag-wait ako sa ground floor for releasing of my result. So, ayun na guys. So, natawag na ako for my, um, for my result. So, eto guys. Eto yung mga binigay sa akin um, <clears throat> ng officer nung natawag na ako. So, eto yung mga binigay niya sa akin. First would be sealed envelope to be opened by the consular officer during the interview. So, bibigyan kanya ng brown sealed envelope. Itong brown sealed envelope to guys, um, inside it, hindi ko alam kung ano inside it, but they said inside it would be the results ng test mo. Tsaka, um, si consular officer lang ang makakapag-open ito. So, wala kang anything na gagawin sa envelope na ito, but just keep it as it is. So, binigyan niya ako ng sealed envelope. Um, binigyan niya rin ako ng DS3-3025 vaccination sheet. So, sa vaccination sheet na to, meron siyang picture mo, guys, during the day one, nung gumawa ka, nung nang mag, nang picture taking ka. So, ganun. Sagdali lang, guys, ha. Ayan. So, may picture siya, tsaka, parang may record siya kung ano yung mga vaccine na kinuha mo. So, ganun. So, a piece of uh, DS3-025, tapos, St. Luke's Medical Exam Receipt, binigay din sa akin. X-ray na CD, binigay din sa akin. Um, binalik niya sa akin yung interview appointment confirmation with note. Um, kung saan prove na gumawa ko ng medical exam ko. And then, the passport with St. Luke's stamp. So, may stamp silang bibigay sa passport mo, guys, just to prove na you have done your medical exam. So, ayun yung mga binigay sa akin, guys. So, when I had it, finally, um, ang sarap sa feeling kasi worth it yung yung pila, yung gutom. Kasi, guys, afternoon talaga nakakagutom na, na excited ka na talagang lumabas, umuwi, magpahinga, tsaka mag-proceed na sa interview mo. So, parang ganun yung feeling. So, ako naman, excited na ako. So, ayun, umuwi na ako. I have, I have everything with me. I make sure na walang alam mo yung walang mahuhulog na papel. So, I have everything secured and then umuwi na ako, guys. And then, after that, <clears throat> ganun lang kasimple, guys. Siguro, I show up 9am my second day and then naka-uwi na ako, like, I don't know, 10.30, 11.30. Parang ganun, guys. 10.30, 11.30, parang ganun. So, mga 2 hours, 2 hours lang. So, hindi naman masyadong mahirap, guys. So, eto lang yung tip ko sa inyo. Um, before you show up sa medical exam nyo, you have to make sure na wala kayong dinalang pagkain sa bag nyo and eat first. You have to eat first before you do the medical exam kasi nga bawal ang pagkain. Second will be magdala kayo ng jacket or cardigan kasi sobrang lamig sa uh, building ng St. Luke's. Hindi ko alam bakit guys pero malamig talaga. So, para komportable kayo, bring your jacket or cardigan. And then, pwede naman yung bottle of water. They allow that. Pero kung Wala kang bottle of water, they have drinking fountain within the building. Kapag nauuhaw ka, pwede ka namang makainom ng tubig. And then, what else? And, of course, review your requirements. So, before you show up in the medical exam, um, make sure na kompleto yung mga requirements mo para hindi ka na bumalik ulit. Hindi masayang yung oras mo. So, yun lang guys. So, I hope sa inyo na when you do your medical exam, it will be um, normal para dire na yung process you guys. So guys, you know the drill. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Maraming salamat for highly engaging in my um, videos. For liking, for commenting, for asking questions. I really do appreciate it, guys. And thank you for supporting that you are watching my videos. So thank you so much, guys. I try my best to respond to your questions, um, especially if they are relevant. So if you have more questions and verifications, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. So guys, alam yun na. I'll see you in my next video. So thank you guys so much.